Yo, what is going on, everybody? John here. Welcome back. Today's uh, stream, late night stream, whatever you want to call it. Uh, uh, this is actually going out to two separate platforms, going to the YouTube channel. So shout out to the Thick Leg Fam. And it's also going to the Kilpo's Gaming Channel. Um, yes, I know it's um, I know it's a gaming channel, but we're also doing a uh, mukbang show because, you know what? There's no rules. Whatever. Uh, yes, we're here. Back at it again. And with, with a different kind of episode today, we're going to be doing a bukbang episode. Um, and if you guys know what bukbang is, um, you're just eating in front of a camera. Uh, so uh, I have here with me a family platter that's supposed to feed, apparently feed two to three people. Um, it's quite a bit. It's quite a bit. It doesn't look that big because I think you guys are just drawing a comparison to my head size and this platter. But it's type big. Let me tell you guys. It's kind of big. And um, just for good measure, uh, Jimmy threw in a Philadelphia roll on top of this. So it's kind of big. But um, I've set together, set up this rinky-dink uh, mukbang setup here. I'm very far from the ca uh, camera, as you guys can see. Um I might actually do all my shows like this, uh, to be honest with you. But look, we're just doing it because we, you know, we're like, screw it. We'll film a mukbang. Who cares? Um, it don't matter at this point. You know what I mean, guys? But here we are. Um, if you guys are joining me from the YouTube channels, I apologize if this is really random. But me and Jimmy said, screw it. We'll give it a shot. So this is from a local sushi joint uh near my house not my cup of tea to be honest with you i've been there quite a few times but it's all good you know what i mean during the pandemic we're just trying to help all kinds of businesses if they're doing well enough you know what i mean like if they deserve the love and support which many people do trust me um we decided you know what screw it let's support the cause so here we are doing a mukbang shout outs to h hus welcome my friend Thank you so much. This is going to be a very, very long stream, probably like two hours of me just eating and talking. Jimmy should join us sometime soon. But uh, yeah, so for now, we're just going to be doing a mukbang. Um, Jimmy said he was going to come join me, but I have no idea where he is. As usual. Oh, speak of the devil. Yo! Hey, oh my gosh. Well, you have so this much is kind of lit. You have so much food, man. Okay, so um, so Jimmy, I just introduced uh, the show. It's a mukbang episode. John, do it. Yeah, we do it. You know what I mean? And I'm sweating already, kind of. By the way, how do you like the setup? Because I'm really far from the camera. Yeah, it, yo, it actually looks kind of legit. Yeah, I'm, I'm a mukbang pro. You know what I'm saying? Um, I have I have nothing like that that I can you know do. So I'll just show you guys what I have. Yeah, well, uh, Joseph, uh, my man Joseph is asking us, will you be talking about football? Joseph will be talking about anything. We're gonna, we're, we're gonna talk about life. We're gonna be talking about that's all you got. I, I just came out from eating. Wow, okay, so you ate a little bit. You're like, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Crap. Okay. And guys, guys, this is my favorite. I, I don't know if you guys are gonna call me basic or anything, but hey, hey, take a look at this. This is my favorite. What is your favorite? No, oh, it's a nasty Philadelphia roll. Nasty? What the heck? You, you know, what I, I've given it a try, so I'm, I have one on my uh, on my plate here as well. Shout outs to oh, we got lots of people in the chat. L hey. LBTBT, something yo, like John. LB, what's yo, going on, like LBT? Um, yo, yeah, so guys, this is yeah. not this is not this is not a, a football concentrated show. Rather, this I'm is just, just us just, just chatting and slicing up life and yeah, stuff. Just you know, eating, chilling. Yeah, you're chatting with the homies. Um, so here's the here's the challenge. Um, I have to eat all this, um, and if I finish it all, Jimmy's paying for it. So, um, wait, why'd you change the camera? I kind of like this better. It's tighter. Because I want to see some of my food. You can't see it either way. Oh, okay, fine. Stupid. It feels weird having it be like you're so far back and I'm so far forward. Then why don't you, so why don't you step back a little bit? Maybe I can push my camera a bit back. Oh, that was that's a cool shot. Just... Okay, that's better. Okay, cool. All right, well, shout out to all of you. Wow, we have lots of people in the chat room. Guys, Um, thank you so much for joining again. Remember, this is not the usual show, so you guys don't have to stick around that much. Yo, jo Joseph, yo, that's my guy. He said, don't call anything from Philly nasty. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, boy. Dude. Why is Jimmy getting so many allies in this damn thing? First, no, because I love, yo, look at me. I look like I need allies. 
All right, well, I've still not yet to... Fin I, I, all right, Jimmy, can you handle the comments? Because my mouse is so far from my desk here. Uh, I got you, um, I got you. H -Hus, our boy H -Hus says, do Koreans and Japanese have similar similarities in food? <clears throat> um, kind you know of. what? Let me... You know what? I'm kind of hesitant to say yes, because there's actually very... Um, Big differences in terms in terms of the culture, and obviously food is derived from culture. And some might even argue that culture is, is culture. derived culture is derived from food. Um, but they actually do have some certain similarities. I think they have more similarities than than some people might like to agree on, myself included. But anyways, um, yes, HS also asked how much was all that. Uh, so here in wait, hold on, can we? Um, can I? Oh, I can't. Okay, well, once we read the chat, we might have to pull it down. Because I can't show the food. Um, so, so uh, this plate was approximately fifty dollars. Um, that's not that's not cheap money by any means. But this is why it's a bokbang show. Mm -hmm. We had to exactly. kind of go crazy uh, to pull the trigger on this. Usually, exactly. usually we order like five to seven dollar meals, mm -hmm. and um, usually it's just halal, right? Or or McDonald's. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? And here we are eating or sushi. Some, or sometimes, you know, I don't know. <laughs> right. So, anyways, um, yeah. So I'm gonna actually take my first bite. Um, usually in a mukbang, uh, you're supposed to really identify the sound. Yeah, it's A S M R. All right. So let me let me actually get a little bit of the soup because I'm kind of thirsty here. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, don't fucking make me laugh. <laughs> Weirdo. No, stop making me laugh. <laughs> you freaking my weirdo. setup here is wild. If I split, if I spill <laughs> one thing, I'm fucked. Yo, you freaking wild. Okay, guys. All right. So all right, um, we have Joseph asks. All right, then hopefully you will answer my previous questions about what you guys do for work. I think he asked us in a. a I think he asked us in a stream a couple days ago. He did. So Joseph, we can't answer that for you. Um, Jimmy, why don't you go first while I actually take my first bite? Yeah, I work as. So I basically work in a fashion company. Uh, as you can tell from my appearance every stream, um, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, right. Um, and you know, I just work in, I just work, you know, I work in with numbers basically. Mm. Yeah, um, yeah. Basically, mm. that's, what, that's all it is. What about you? Uh, I worked at a law firm, but no, I am not a lawyer. Um, yeah, he he he's not a lawyer. Yeah, Although he get he everyone thinks he is. I don't know very, why I tell them stop th stop saying that because it makes me feel bad, but. I'm not a lawyer, but I do work at a law firm. Uh, and yeah. No, that's what we do. Um, we say we have Mr. Carline saying, yo, what up? He's tuning in from YouTube. We got we got Wumbo out here saying food. Hey, and ASMR tuning in from Twitch. Oh, I wait. Think you, 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 I think that's okay. Either. No, no, no. This is someone I know. Oh, oh, is it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Is that your friend? Mm -hmm. Oh, hey. So, Bo -bo. Mm. Okay, so we got a couple here. He says, I've got one year till I finish my me mechanical engineering degree. Oh, fantastic. Well, Congratulations. Interesting, interesting thing. And this goes into what Joseph asks, which is, how did you guys meet? Me and John actually met in engineering school, too. Yes, we both graduated from engineering school. Yes. At the time, it was called Polytechnic Institute of NYU, but yeah. now, now it's it, just NYU. Yes, NYU. Done. That's cool, HS. I have a lot of friends who are in the mechanical engineering field. Mm -hmm. A lot of my friends are mecha were mechies as well. Awesome. Oh, right, cool. If you don't mind me asking, where where do you go to school? One year. Yo, let Yo, that must have been a lot of work. Yo, Me Mekis do a lot of work. Mekis, yeah, Mekis, Mekis, Mekis do a lot of work. Yeah. More work than us. No, but... More John, than you. Yeah, more work than me. My my major was very, very laid back, actually. I sometimes <clears throat> wish that was my first major. <laughs> it was so easy. Oh, a sick Coventry University. Oh, wow, that's oh, cool. Dang. Very nice. Damn, oh. HL, isn't it kind of late now if you're in Coventry? It's like, what, 11 o'clock right now? Let's be honest here, though. When do you ever go to sleep at 11, though? That's true. When was the last time you slept before 12? All right, calm down. Well, I gotta I'm, focus. Just, I know, I gotta... I'm just asking questions. Hold on. I got to focus on drinking the soup again. Mm. 
Oh, dude, this is so much work. We're never doing this shit again. <laughs> oh, yo, Joseph said he he graduated from Hunter College. Oh, that's awesome. CUNY? The Hunter College CUNY? In 2014, yo, Joseph, you and I are the same age. Yo, Joseph, let's go, baby. I don't know how I don't know exactly what Joseph age is, but if he graduated Wait, no, in 2014, you would have graduated 2013. I graduated 2014. What's wrong with you? Oh yeah, you're right. 2013 was when I was. What's wrong with you? Sorry, my bad, my bad. Oh yeah, right. Joseph. No wonder Joseph always has your back. Hey, Joseph's my guy, man. He's always been yo, he not only is he a New Yorker, a, a former New Yorker, went to CUNY. Yo. We're also the sim- a similar age. Similar, you guys are the same age. <laughs> I'm not judging. He he didn't call, he didn't confirm yet. But anyways, we do we have any more questions right now? Um, we have one. Wait, hold on. Act, but... I need some more soup. Okay, ASMR. AS- you... If I do this ASMR stop, mad people are gonna be turned off. Do it. Do it. Do Ready? it. Oh, fuck, it went up my nose. <laughs> you clown. <laughs> <laughs> you Why did oh. you laugh, man? Why did you laugh? I, 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 was, I was purposely quiet then, too. Oh, fuck. Oh. Literally, it was purposely quiet, so you, I wouldn't make you laugh. Oh, damn. <clears throat> I can't even enjoy my food because you're laughing at me. Okay, well. I wasn't even laughing at you. Yeah, you're right. Whatever. Anyways. So uh, we um, got it. We got a question here for you. HS said, "Why did you go into law when you were in an engineering school?" That's a great question, um, HS, and I kind of get that quite often. Um, mm-hmm. So when I was in engineering school, I actually start studied. Um, I actually studied with a concentration in medic in, in medical sciences because I, I I graduated with a biomedical. Bio- biomolecular sciences degree with a bs and i initially went into the medical track to become a doctor you know there's a stereotype amongst excuse me for chewing and talking but there's a stereotype amongst um asian communities here in america where you know asian american parents Want you do want you to be so stable that they're they'll do whatever it takes to make sure you either become a lawyer or a doctor or a professor or an engineer nowadays or an engineer right or more to be more modern they also include um coders right mm. computer engineers and things like that but anyway um so i initially went into school for that and then uh, i realized halfway that there was just no way that i was going to be able to do it mm-hmm. there's no way that i was going to be able to keep up the the medical studies you know i prided myself in being a pretty decent student you know i wasn't a smart student but yeah he definitely wasn't smart fucking little prick so i, w- I wasn't all that genius but you know i, I definitely prided myself definitely. in and you done no, no keep going keep going so long story short i didn't know what i was going to do but then because i didn't want to switch majors and I did enjoy the, the, the world of biology. And, and I thought, you know, especially, especially with the advancements in medical technology and stuff, I just felt like, you know, biology and the biomedical sciences field was so interesting. But once I graduated, I realized, Oh shoot, if I'm not going to be a doctor, I have to work uh, in house as a wet, a wet lab assistant. And wet lab is one of the worst things ever. And I didn't want to be a, a, a wet lab. So I was looking into other options and one of the options that you can go into now is patent law, intellectual property law. So I looked into it and um, that's why I'm here. Sorry about that horrible story. My, I'm like, that that soup just absolutely tore me up. Well, I think that age and stereotype you were talking about exists everywhere in the world. Does it? Okay. Mm-hmm. I know okay. I, I used to have a lot of um, uh, friends from the UK who are, who are of like Indian, um, Pakistani, um, mm-hmm. who else they from Bangladesh. Like I had a lot of friends from that region. Uh-huh. They all said like, it doesn't matter if you're an Oriental Asian or Eastern Asian or Middle Eastern, all Asians, same stereotype. So I was like, uh-huh. all right, that's cool. Exactly. Mm-hmm. 
I think it's more like Southern Asian. I think they're more inclined for like engineering and law. I feel like medicine is not too big for them, but it probably still is. But yeah, mm-hmm. I think Asian culture in general, like those are like probably top three. I see. Well, Jimmy, how'd you like, how are you liking this? What, the food or the, the food? It's not bad. That's cool. It sounds like you're not that into it. Oh. No, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Guys, we have we have we might have a third guest here. No. Oh. Oh. Bring him in. Bring him in. Bring him in. Oh. Let's go, boy. Yeah, how's it going? Yo, by the way, if your audio starts turning to dog doo doo, Jimmy just cut his ass out. Yeah, yo, cut me out. If my audio turned into dog doo doo. Oh, it already eating? is. Peace. <laughs> All right, peace. <laughs> yo, what are you eating? Yo, what is good? I'm eating a pretzel. Say hello to the fam. Say hello to the the thick leg fam. How y'all doing, thick leg crew? Mm-hmm. As we're not initiation. a crew, we're a fam. As initiation, you have to show us your thick leg. Right now, show it. Right now. Let's see. Oh, whoa! All right, first of all, that's that's an L. Whatever <laughs> that is, whatever you're wearing, that's an whatever L. Those, whatever those pants were, that was a, a straight L. Yo, it's straight up Ralph, man. Oh, it, it, oh, it, it ain't Ralph, it, though, is it? it? It's Ralph, though. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Uh, I have no idea what you guys are talking about, but okay. Never mind, never mind. Jimmy okay. doesn't know what the six is, guys. No, he does not. No, now he knows, because after he told him. I know that six is afraid of seven. Because <laughs> seven, eight, nine. <laughs> 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 All right, well, how's your evening so far, Mr. One June Man? Pretty good. How was your evening? I see you finally got the sushi plate that you've been craving for months now. Yeah. Um, Technically, we, it's not the. It's, it's not, not from the place that I've been wanting it from. Uh, it's unfortunate. Yeah. But look, we're not in no position to complain. Mm-hmm. I've not splurged on food like this in, in a very long time. So, yeah. I'm yeah, here. definitely. Mr. Carline says, Do you guys go at Warzone? Um, John is, you know, he's decent. Are you serious? I'm sure if you guys watch our streams, you'll know. Yeah, they're pretty good. They get first place or that, like at least top that, 16 here and there. If you watch our streams on Twitch, you'll know that I usually carry this guy. Wow. Are you serious? He's, he's usually tries to get a lot of kills and he goes in and dies and I have to revive him. You know, buy him back. You know. That is not me. That's how it works. But... That is, you're an absolute joke. No, that's usually Jimmy. And it all has we to like to, bring him we back. Have to, we have to save this so they come and watch the stream. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Wanju, man. No, I I'll tell the truth here. Nothing but the truth. Oh, um, thank you, no, 100. No, 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 no. Yeah, John always wins his gulag fights, and Jimmy always loses his gulag fights. I I don't know what a what is a gulag. This dude, this this dude, the worst gulag player in the history of COD. He has like a 85 percent like loss rate in the dude gulag loses every round. Are you guys yeah. done? You guys done? No, you done? Okay, I'm done. Jesus. I like, I like my, 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 my brother coming on, protecting me. I'm getting bullied by Jimmy way too often here. Yeah, yo, Jimmy, you're a bully. Hey, yo. says, I watched you when you won. When you when used, you the, used car the car there, at the end, and the last guy died, I guess. Hey! hey! Yo, H-Hus, yo, H-Hus, yo, when the pandemic is over, when we start sending out gifts to our fam, mm. H-Hus, Eric, Joseph, Mr. Carline, okay, yeah, all you guys, I'm going to show you as much love as I can. Given uh-huh. my the the problems that I have with respect to my life and my finances, but anyway, go ahead. Yo, Jimmy, you should send Rafe's package. I will. That guy <laughs> always has my back. You know, no. I feel like I do feel like I'm an honorary gunner because you know he's accepted me into his family. Wait, well, look at this traitor what? right here. Honorary, honorary what? Gunner. Mm. Gunner. What a traitor? Oh, mm-hmm. uh, we have we have comments here from Aged Amber. Hello, Jimmy. It's my friend. Hi, Ace Amber. Welcome to the show. I don't know if this is interesting enough for you to be uh, tuning in to watch Jimmy, but she welcome said, to the I'm stream. Getting roasted. <laughs> <laughs> you have to understand, Mrs. Amber. You have to understand. Uh, this is a, usually a two-man thing when Wan Jun's not here. So usually, you know, it's okay if I if I rile up John, but no, I have no choice because the the problem is is you we had this. So this is a a behind the scenes thing. Um. Jimmy and I were having a meeting about our performance on YouTube yeah. and how we're our doing. Character. And, yeah. Not even our character. It's just purely based on our YouTube analytics. 
exactly. And we're doing great, but YouTube kept flagging us. Yeah. Because I, I kept swearing so much. Yeah. yeah, I'm telling you, if you put a dollar for every time you swear, like you'd be a very rich man. <laughs> so I was like, Jimmy, okay. Uh, I appreciate the fact that you're, you know, helping me out and whatnot. This is fantastic, and I'm so, uh, you know, thankful. But you have to help me out here. He's like, no, it's your job to stop swearing. Yeah. And I was like, no, I know that, but you're just the king of riling people up. This is a that is my that is my middle name. Ryle. Yeah, that's fair. Jimmy Ryle. <laughs> Jimmy, <laughs> Jimmy Ryle, Ryle Kim. Kim. Let's go. But we we figured out ever since that this guy swears even when I'm not talking to him. What are you talking about? No, I he, don't. He, he riles himself up. <laughs> no, I do not. You do. I don't know. That's a bit of a reach, Jimmy. No, 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 no. no. There are times where I'm just sitting there and he's talking, giving his rant, and then at the end of it, he'll, he'll just curse. <laughs> no, no, sometimes like you deserve okay, it. Okay, so Joseph says, "Can you tell us your all-time United team?" Wow, way to cut us off. <laughs> yo, wait, yo, what, 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 Junyo? I, I, I think you're breaking up, Junyo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm gonna start right now. I'm gonna All right, go first. Go. Okay, let's go. Let's go step by step. Okay, goalkeepers. Okay. Goalkeeper, go. Mm. I'm gonna go Schmeichel. Really? Give us a reason. I think it's a toss-up between Schmeichel and Van der Sar. Um, but I think Van der Sar was a much better shot stopper during his time, especially during his prime. But I think overall, uh, Schmeichel was much more of a, 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 a dominating, commanding presence mm. as a goalkeeper. You know? Yeah, I think Van der Sar was a great goalkeeper. But from the back, um, he was a little quieter probably. I, 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 he did his job. He did his job. And it's not just purely based on like the decibels, right? It's not just about... Yeah. Who screams more and who's more of a like a of a loud person? Mm -hmm. If anything, the reason why I think Schmeichel had much more of a presence is purely because he was a winner. Yeah, and I'm not saying Edwin Vanderstar is not a winner, but he had much more. Way, right? He had much more. Right, he had much more authority in his box. Mm -hmm. If his back four wasn't paying attention or not, you know, playing right, you know, Schmeichel's first one there yelling at yeah. him already. Yep. We should do this. We should not be able to pick the uh, the other person's players. Okay. Oh, my guy, Wan Jun Young, DC'd. Wan Jun said there's no rules. <laughs> he said peace out. Mm -hmm. He didn't even say anything. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I'm going to go Vandersar because I grew up watching Vandersar, and he was one of the he, – uh, he definitely was one of my inspirations to loving the position of goalie and wanting to play goalie. Mm -hmm. Second reason is because, you know, Vandersar didn't play for Man City. So, Oh, good shout. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, I, think that's the, I think that's the main conversation a lot of people have. Is like, yeah. how can you pick? I Schmeichel? love Peter Schmeichel. I love Peter Schmeichel. Everything he did for his time at United was great. Right. And I'm not gonna knock him. Like, I'm sure playing at City was good for him as well. But you know, it's like a, it's like a little asterisk. You know, a little, a little, like a very small one. But they had the same conversation for um, Dennis Law, right? Yeah, that's why. That's why, like, you know, it doesn't. And you know what? It's not like they did what. Um, well, who was that? Adebayor, like what he did when he played for uh, right, right. Tottenham. But well, Adebayor was, was absolutely yeah, but he was, he was absolutely wild. <laughs> yeah, this dude was going around, he was yeah. running around the entire pitch exactly. when he went exactly. to celebrating. Exactly. This is crazy. Exactly, they were like even what Tevez did. Like he was a little more, you know, out there with, when he switched to City. But you know, Smichael and Law, they were all like very professional when they switched. So you know, I'll give it to them. You know, it's all okay. good. Um, That's so let's good. go to let's go to left back then. Okay, you can go first this time because I picked goalkeeper first. All right. Well, we all know if you're a Korean, you, you can't forget this this person. You can't you can't not put him in your in your eleven. Mm -hmm. I gotta go with my 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 boy, um, Uncle Evra, as my left back. You want Evra as one of your all time best left backs? Yeah, I love the guy. That's crazy. You know, stuff. you know, he's a great. He's not just a great player. He's a great person. Okay. Okay. And I, I like it? to look at I like to look at character. Okay, is that it? Yeah, I just like the guy. Okay, well, I'll I'll speed things up a little bit. I'm not gonna waste too much time. Uh, I'm gonna go Dennis Irwin. I knew you'd say that <laughs> because I I knew you'd say that. <laughs> yeah, you know why? You know why? Yeah, we we know why. We know why. Dennis I love Irwin. I love players that are f are athletes by trade, but. They're such wholesome. Oh, oh my goodness, that was disgusting. I'm so sorry if you guys watched that. <laughs> They're wholesome players by heart, and I absolutely love that about Dennis Irwin. He's one of those good, like all what about, around. Good what about players. Evra? 
I love Evra, right? That's that's my uncle. That's Tonton. That's Tonton Pat Yo, Patrice, dude. right? Dude. Patrice, Tonton Patrice. You know what I'm saying? That's I my guy. I love this game. I love this game, but I don't love some of the stuff he does on Instagram. Okay, that's this true. Dude, this dude took that's a true. raw chicken. That's true. I, no, 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 no. I, I said, know. <laughs> Yeah, let me massage you. Massage you. <laughs> let me massage okay. you. Okay, you know what? You know what? I love this game. You know what? You know what? You know what? That's your that's your all time left back right there. That's your all time hey, left. Hey, hey. Moving hey, on to he, Central Hey, Defenders. at least he didn't do that while we're while he was playing at United, okay? Okay. That's true. I'll give you that. Yeah. Um, well, when he was back. at United, when he was at United though, his relationship with Jason Park is one thing I'll always, and I'll it's not, always and, yeah, and it didn't even end after their time together. Right. They're still, you know. they're still best friends. And if I if I was in that position, I I would love to have a friend like Eva. There was a there's a legendary interview. I just want to take a minute here. There's a legendary interview where Patrice Evra he gets on the the he takes the the MUTV person's microphone mm -hmm. and he goes runs over to Buck to Jason Park and Jason Park was still relatively new at the time when he when he joined mm -hmm. and he goes over to them and he just goes um he goes. G, why you know like them English girls? I, I know, I know this. <laughs> and then Jason Park goes, um, because they maybe like they don't like me. <laughs> <laughs> and they said, I will show you, I will show you. <laughs> and like the fact that two men from complete different backgrounds, complete different cultures and things like that can come to a club like Manchester United of such high prestige, tradition, character, you know, history, the success – and just enjoy their time there like that, so whole, like so exactly. whole heart, wholeheartedly, and it's just so it's such an amazing, it's such, it such a warm thing for me to watch, especially even those times when Asian players being in the prem were so, were still sort of you know you. few and far, and it was kind of very uh, still a foreign idea, mm -hmm. and you know Jason Park is not one of those guys that comes out and he's flary and he goes around making lots of friends. He's very uh, apparently he was a very quiet player, and you know he wasn't one of those guys that was you know out there you mm -hmm. know trying to make friends all over all over the place. Of Okay. So Patrice, for him to do that, you know, I'll always love him and respect him for that. Yeah. Again, that's that goes to show his character. Right. Right. I'll give him that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So let, let's move on to center backs. Okay. So I, I get the first pick. Yeah. You yes. want to pick two, or you want to just pick one first, and then I'll go, go. I'll pick one. I'll pick one. Okay. Go. 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 I feel like I know who you're gonna say though. Who you? Who, who you think I'm gonna say? I feel like I'm gonna say. You say it first, and I'll tell you if I'm right or wrong. I'm actually gonna go with the. Oh shoot, my. I'm gonna go with Rio. Huh. I literally that was literally who I knew you were gonna say. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, why do you think I would pick Rio? Because he's the type of player that you wanna play set of back ass. You wanna play like Rio. Classy, play with the ball well, fast, mm -hmm. reads the reads the the game well. That's the type of Footballer, you'd want to be as a center back. Okay, well, you pretty much said everything there. Besides the fact that you, besides the whole bit about I want to play like him. Um, yeah. Oh, why? Because you do play like him. I play more like Vidic, if anything. Yeah, I know. Okay, well, I think my my choice would probably be Yap Stam. Mm, okay. I think Stam was amazing when he was at our club. Now I was actually kind of sad when he left. So. Okay. Well, most most people. Go for the Rio Yap Stem combination. Mm -hmm. uh, as much as people like Vidic and they think Vidic is one of the all time greatest Manchester United central, central defenders to have played, um, Yap Stem is just, he was just a different beast when he was when he was at United. Shame Yap he couldn't Stam. stay for longer, but mm -hmm. they were. But he did the work and he did it well. Right. And the perfect balance between the, the force that is Yap Stem, the, the absolute fear, fearsome, towerish figure like Yap Stem. Gives zero Fs. Goes into challenges hard. Right. And and to be playing alongside a world-class central defender like Rio Ferdinand, somebody who was very elegant, poised on the ball, not afraid of anything, composed. Mm -hmm. Like, that's a fantastic partnership right there. Exactly. And we'll leave it like that, Jimmy. We'll just, let's just, let's just keep going. I'm going to go, let's go next to the uh, right back. No, no. What, we didn't do both center backs. I don't know. Let's just do it like that. Like that. Two All center right, backs. Right back. Go. I'm going to go. Gary Neville. Okay. Okay. 
<laughs> you know, United haven't had many like <laughs> great right back. You know, they're all great, but you know, you know. So one of the reasons why um um <clears throat> there was a show with Roy Keane, Michael Richards, and Gary Neville. And they were talking about longevity and successes each other's had at their respective clubs. And Michael Richards was like, "Roy, like you gotta, you gotta, you know, show me some love here. I, 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 I did. I was one of the like top players to play, whatever, yada yada yada." And then Roy was like, "You know, they were talking about how each other's characteristics." And then Gary Neville was like, "I played consistently for ten years." And then Roy Keane goes, "Just because there was nobody else playing right back." <laughs> hey, hey. We had we had Raphael. And- we had Raphael. We also had John O'Shea who 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 played right back. Uh, who else did we have at right back? <laughs> Timbo played right back for a little bit. Um, we also had Antonio Valencia play right back for a little oh, bit. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure Valencia was probably the consistent right back after Neville, which is hilariously, uh, sadly ironic. Yeah. I mean, there's really no one I can choose except like. Juan Bissaka right now, huh? <laughs> Why are you about to put Juan Bissaka in your greatest all-time man United 11? You're crazy. You took you took the only right back that I could choose. Look, look, Mr. Carline says, you got to be young at right back. <laughs> That's your pick, Jerry. <laughs> you be the motherfucker that will pick Ashley Young as your greatest right back. And this is oh. why. And this is why. This is why. <laughs> Joseph said, you're a fake United fan. Now we know you're a gooner. You said it yourself. You would pick Ashley Young. I didn't say I was a gooner. I said I feel like an honorary gooner. Because of because of rat face. Okay. Well, anyways. Okay. Okay. So let's go to let's go to um midfield. How do you want the setup to be? You want to do four three three? You want to do let's go four four, four two. two. Four four two. Pick, pick a right. midfielder each. Okay. Okay. You, uh, whose turn is it? I'll go first. Since you went right okay. back first. Go for it. Whew, man. Who could we pick? I mean, the options are endless. And Manchester United midfield. Are you kidding me? I know. That's why we're going center midfielder. Yeah. <sighs> Dang, that's a hard one. Yeah, it's there's a really lot. Hard. Of it's really hard. You know, what? I'm gonna go with a proven winner. Okay. Great mentality. Okay. Amazing personality. If you're about to say who I who I want to say, I'm gonna kill you. But go ahead. His name starts with an R. Okay. Last name starts with a K. Okay. Okay. And I think it. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go with Roy Keane. All right, that's fine. Because he was a he was a leader. I mean, he was wild, right? He was wild, but he, he let the if I played if I played in midfield, I'm Roy Keane. You're Roy Keane, but without the skill. <laughs> exactly. Just, just the aggression. Just the anger. <laughs> just, just the aggression. <laughs> like going in for tackles, reckless tackles. That's you. You're, you're so right. <laughs> But I think I have to go with Keen. There's no one. I think there's no one better to marshal that midfield than Keno. Okay. Uh, no, that's that's for me. That's given. But judging from your reaction, that doesn't seem to be the guy that you were thinking of. That's right. Um, I had so much. Uh, I I was thinking who could partner up Roy Keen in that midfield. I wanted to go Scolzi. I also wanted to have a lot of other options, right? But wait, if it's not Scolzi, that's surprising because I thought you were gonna say Scolzi. Scolzi is my favorite player of all time. He's my number one favorite player of all time, exactly. ever. But I'm I, to play in a four four two. I, we need somebody else. I'm gonna go, Sir Bobby Charlton. That's right, Sir Bobby Charlton was I stole- a striker. What? Wasn't Sir Bobby Charlton a striker? No, you fool. We played midfield. How dare you? Oh yeah, check it. Yeah, check it. I I, I swear to God, if I will I will ban you from this show. Maybe I don't know. Wow. You're right. Of course I'm right. How Ban dare me. you? Ban me. Yo, you're you're a fake gooner. I mean, Ban you're me. a fake United fan. You're a gooner. Ban me. Ban me. Where's rap face? Ban what me. A... You won't. Don't be salty because you got owned. All right. But yeah, no. Sir Bobby, Sir Bobby Charlton. If you if you watch, I mean, we never we weren't born around the time he was playing. But if you ever watch his actual eclipse like performances, absolute boss. Especially during those times with with the. Uh, with himself, George Best, Dennis Law, the three, the holy, excuse me, the Trinity, absolute beasts. Mm. So I have to go, to Bobby Charlton. So Bobby Charlton. 
Okay. Okay. You go first. Left midfielder. Left? It has to be. It has to be. Wait, are we classifying Ronaldo as a forward or a winger? Good question. Well. Hmm. Well, I think when he came to United first, he was a midfielder, right? He played left mid or left wing. But I think that's like around the same, you know? So can we consider him a midfielder yeah. or a winger? Yeah. So I'm assuming you're going to go Ronaldo. Because I want to play Ronaldo, but I also want to play Giggs. Because Giggs played left, right, middle. I was going to I was gonna pick Giggs. Okay. So you so pick then... Ronaldo and I'm going to pick Giggs. All right. Ronaldo. Ronaldo, obviously, his stats speak for himself. Ronaldo, yep. one Giggs of the greatest. Is, Giggs' stats also speak for himself. They, they do. But I mean, Ronaldo is know. one of the greatest ever to do it. Mm-hmm. That's true. And, uh, you know, one of the biggest talking points for football fans is that they think that Ronaldo <clears throat> at Manchester United wasn't as good as Ronaldo at Real Madrid. And I can agree but, because Ronaldo's peak was at Madrid. But huh. but there is no Madrid if there was no Manchester United. Excuse me? I said, there, but there'd be no Madrid if there was no Manchester United. You mean there's no Madrid Ronaldo? Yeah. Yeah, you have to clarify. You're, you're on a TV show. I mean, not TV show. You're on a YouTube channel show, man. No, no. I, I mean, everyone knows what we're talking about. Yeah. Well, anyway, yeah, he's one of the best. Yeah. I mean, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't question. Deny. You can't. There's no way. Man was an absolute beast. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So why'd you go? Why would you go Giggsy? Well, firstly, because I know that you were going to go Ronaldo. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd go Ronaldo, so you know. The best of the rest. Mm-hmm. You know, he, he got longevity in him. He okay. got, you know, he's got. Yeah, we'll keep it at that. <laughs> I mean, gigs, every time I watch gigs, like. <clears throat> there's a certain different element of level, rather, of grace and quality oh. from world class players. Mm-hmm. And gigs always ooze that. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm somebody that like is a huge proponent proponent of like supporting players that have, you know, that take care of themselves well mm. off the pitch as well. Mm-hmm. And while Ryan Giggs really yeah. do his personal part that much, purely speaking from a, the footballing perspective and, and what he's done for Manchester United has been absolutely mm-hmm. phenomenal and nothing short yeah. of world class yeah. success. And we're and we're not choosing the best characters at United. We're just choosing strictly no, but I mean, Giggsy, Giggsy, you know, he's Giggsy is Giggsy, right? He, that's his personal problems or whatever. But mm-hmm. the thing that I really realized that when, when I really went, wow, this is once in a lifetime generational player, not simply yeah. because of the years at Manchester United, mm-hmm. but what Giggsy used to do at that age, he was nearing 40. Yeah. And he was still freaking beasting. Yeah. Remember that, that semifinal, uh, Ch- Champions League semifinal against Chelsea? When Jason Park yeah. made that run, Giggsy fed that to him, yeah. broke the Great entire ball. back line. Jason ball. Park touches it down, slams it with his left foot. Great ball. I'll never forget that day. I was I was in tears. I was screaming. <laughs> um. So we have right mid left. Mm-hmm. I go first, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. Man, there's so many good right right mids as well. You can we can actually just go Ronaldo left, Giggsy right, and we just go talk about the forwards. Oh, well, I mean, I want I kind of want to put Beckham in there, so I would have put Beckham at right mid. Okay. You know, David Beckham was very underrated by a lot of people. Yeah, and he still to this day is very underrated. A lot of people don't really rate him as a player. Right, attribute his 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 qualities as a player. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I still think. Everything he did, like and the and the age he was when he did it, you know that shows a, a high level of, you know, work ethic, professionalism, and the right. type of person he is. So, right. 
All right, Jimmy, let's move on. Let's, let's just wrap this up a little bit. We have a few more comments we can get to. Okay, forwards. You can go first. I think I know who you're going to say, though. Who? I think it starts with a V. Am I wrong? Am I right or am I wrong? <clears throat> I'm going to go George Best. I knew you'd say that. George Best simply because why Why'd you think you knew I was going to say that? Because I know you really well. Okay, well, George Best I simply picked because he was – for a player during his time to play the way that he played – was outerworldly. Mm. A player of that quality I was otherworldly, but okay. Uh, look, don't you have a personal zendetta against me, okay? <laughs> I do. So calm down. <laughs> so he was otherworldly, all right? Mm. And uh, and just uh, I actually spent a lot of time this back in the days I used to actually write for a, a, a small match United publication. This is a, like a fan based publication, but I used to do a lot of research. I used to watch lots of clips and just watching footage during those times. So, Bobby Trone has a special place in my heart, too, because for a central midfielder to be banging goals like that, I mean, he was prior to Rooney's uh, record, he was the all time greatest, all time highest scoring Manchester United player. For a midfielder to do that, that is absolute fantastic phenom and feat. And uh, and George Best made things look so easy in the front of the park. And this was during those times when referees didn't even. You could break my leg and a referee would just be like, get up and shake hands and keep it moving. You know what I mean? You could be bleeding from head to toe and they'd be like, walk it off. Yeah, I'd be like, here, here, like clean your face, get going. You know what I mean? Yeah, and during yeah. those times for somebody like uh, George Best to be absolutely bossing it up front, he made it look, he made it look so easy. And you could see like, this is us, you know, 90s babies watching 70s football, right? Yeah. Watching him do that, 60s. it made it look so, 60s and 70s, watching him operate, you could just tell, wow, yeah. he makes it look so easy. Yeah. And I think something like that, something like what um, what uh, George Best has done, uh, is, it just can't – you can't write that off. That, he, that has to go down into history, eternal history of Manchester United. That's why he's mm-hmm. always going to be in my top all greatest 11. Mm-hmm. 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 I know what you're going to go, though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, guess. If I know you so well, let's see how well you know me. I'll do it with a song. All right, go for it. I saw my mate. <coughs> You're wrong. Wait. Okay. I saw my mate the other day. He said he's seen <coughs> the white ballet. So I asked, who is he? He goes by the name of Wayne Rooney. Wayne Rooney. <laughs> No, you're wrong. Are you serious? Yeah. This is this is going to be a very controversial pick. What? One that the fact that you didn't pick Wayne Rooney is already hugely controversial. One that I'm sure a lot of people will not agree on me with. Okay, well, who is it? But all time Man United great. He wasn't at United long, but he made a very big impact with the time he was here. Don't tell me he's Dutch. He's not Dutch. He's French. And he's still playing. <laughs> no, I swear to God, shut the hell up. No, you, 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 you're pissing me off. Does the song go like this? Does the no. song go like this? <laughs> oh, Let me hear my, it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> English press, yeah, no chance. Fifty million down the train. No, he marshals again. Dude, you're a fucking piece of shit. You're nah. an honorary dickhead. Nah, 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 it has to be, Waza. It has to be. I, I don't care what anyone says about him or if, if they don't think he's he only scored goals. But you're if you're a striker, you have to score goals. And being the top goal scorer. On a team like United, that's something that that's something that someone can't do for years to come, right? You're talking about Wayne Rooney, right? Yeah, okay. you can't, you can't, for one, stay at a at United long enough to even get near that, and to be able to do that over a multitude of seasons just shows your consistency and world class ness as a player, right? You can't, you can't knock it. I don't care what anyone says about Rooney, but he is world class in my eyes. 
you know, he's had his troubles with Manchester United and Sir Alex Ferguson in particular. Yeah. But that he's been playing for Manchester United since 16. I mean, the amount of the amount of years, amount of legs that he's given for the for the club. Exactly. exactly. All time greatest. Exactly. Um, here we have Mr. Carline saying Keane has to be in there for sure. And your boy put him in there. Um, we have Hansel Choi. His his picture looks like he's playing playing um you know xylophones. No, it looks like he's fucking playing um whack a mole. Uh, it looks like he's playing um something. But he said this isn't a mukbang. There isn't enough. There's not enough eating. There's too much talking. Hey, well, guess what? No rules. Thank you, Jimmy. I was about to say it. No there's rules. No- Hey, ain't no rules. Uh, Mr. Uh, Carline said gigs. Yes, gigs. What's up? Yes. Um, I just want to say, <clears throat> get Maple. <laughs> That's what you wanted to say? Yeah, I just want to say that. <laughs> Guys, let me just let me just um emphasize the fact that when we decided should we do a mukbang, um, my guy John said, "Yo, let me get the ninety dollar one. I could eat all of it." And I looked at him straight in the face and I said, "Don't lie to yourself like that." Obviously, <laughs> obviously that wasn't true. That wasn't <laughs> Obviously, happen. that wasn't true. Wasn't a couple days happen. ago, a, a couple days ago, my guy had a burger and some fries, and he said he could barely finish that. <laughs> yeah, I was like, you know what? Let me. There was another challenge. The reason why I got that was because you you reminded me of another challenge where it was like, ah, oh, right, 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 double right. quarter pounders. Yeah, it, it was. Oh, I think I was like four double quarter pounders, forty chicken nuggets, mm-hmm. four fries, and four drinks. And my guy said I could do that. And I, I was ate, like, I was like, no, you can't. That? Let me tell you how much I ate. I ate. Let me tell you, I ate one of those burgers. <laughs> I ate like six nuggets, and he couldn't even finish his fries. One large fries, and I was like, "Yo, I'm packing everything else. There's no <laughs> way I'm finishing this shit." I was, I was this close to just be like, "I need to just, I need throw. to go to sleep." No, no, not throw. I need to go to sleep. Yo, and, and that was my guy saying, "Yo, four quarter pounder, easy." That was not the answer. It was not. That it. was that was that was him being a little too confident in himself. You know what? I, what I realized though, I think a mukbang is maybe not the right answer for this because, first of all, we obviously can't eat as much as they can. Like, the oh, oh no, of course not. Of course not. Yeah, we, we're not. We, our mukbang style is not eating a lot. It's just eating and. But talking. it's not even. But it's not even ASMR though. Eating and talking. I hate when people make noise when they eat. Yeah, like, like the. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When people like chew with their mouth open, I don't know. That's an mm-hmm. elf. Mm-hmm. In Korea, it's very not polite to do that. Quick, yeah. quick question for you, Jimmy. There was a cultural um, significance, like an old story, based on why um, it was frowned upon to chew with your mouth open. Oh, why? You turn into a pig. What the hell? You turn into a cow. No, <clears throat> they used to say that if you chewed with your mouth open, you lose your fortune or your luck. Oh, really? You're I don't think anyone in our I don't think anyone in our stream was trying to figure that out today. All right, let's keep moving. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't. Uh, this is so much for me. I think. Uh, um, we have Vish in the chat saying, "What up, boys? Yo, what's up, Vish? What's good, Vish? <clears throat> what's good? Yo, HS says I'm a 1998 boy. Oh wow! Dang, dang I wish." I wish I was 1998. Dang. I wish I was 1998. You looked like you're 98. Fuck <laughs> 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 Sorry. Sorry. Sensitive topic, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> he doesn't like to be called old. It's not a sensitive topic. <laughs> Who likes to be called old? <clears throat> I'm sorry. A bitch said Marshall FC incoming. <laughs> no, no, no. Keep them out. We don't want them here. Uh, uh, um, if if, if Marshall FC came here, they would threaten me. <laughs> um, Laps says 2025, everyone realized Goldbridge and Football Terrace made fool out of every brainwashed local crowd that went online actively supporting Rashi Marshall Greenwood. History been made. Fraud was done. What? Wait, what? <laughs> I, Read that what? one more time for me, please. <coughs> I'm assuming he says it's 2025, so four years from now. Yeah. Everyone realizes 
Goldbridge and Football Terrace mm-hmm. made fools out of every brainwashed local crowd that went online to actively support Rash- uh, Rashford, Martial, and Greenwood. Right. History's been made. Fraud was done. I see what he's saying. Football Terrace and and Goldbridge are two other football YouTubers, and they have a very strong pro Rashi Martial Greenwood agenda. Right, right. right. Uh, so I think that's the same that. So they're the complete opposite of you. Right. Exactly. You are you are very not pro Martial. Right. Very. Like very very. very, very not. I guess you could call you Martial out almost. No 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 no. no yeah, not that, that not that severe. No no no. You're just not a fan of Martial. That's right. Okay. Let's keep not moving. Okay. H says, question, do you think it's easier <laughs> losing weight or gaining weight? I think you can ask anyone and everyone which one is the real winner here. Don't ask me. You answer it. Me? Mm-hmm. Honestly, the easier one is probably losing weight. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? Honestly, yo, gaining weight is really hard, to be honest. You have to keep eating, man. Um, it sucks. I'm not trying to sound like a cheese ball, but <laughs> Jimmy, uh, you know what? You want me to pull up the old archives? No. <laughs> All right. Well, let's just let's just we'll we'll, we'll we'll say that for another time. No, no, I'm saying I'm saying I'm saying it's good. No, no, no I know. I'm not trying to attack you. I'm just trying to say whoa, it's whoa, that whoa. it was that easy. For yourself, and no, no. Think about it. Think about it. That w- mine was over a span, right, of like seven, eight years. No, it was not. You were six years. When did you first meet me? No, you got you picked six up years. that much weight in the two years that you dated but that girl. Don't we try to get years. real? Those four years. Yeah, but in two years you picked that up. Don't. But think about it. You, you two, that- you two have lost all that weight in two years. But let me tell you this. But let me tell you this. Let me tell you this, though. Let me tell you this, though. I myself have the experience of gaining even more weight than you've picked up. True, true. Losing a lot of it. True. Gaining it back. But your gain back wasn't a lot. Right. But it's still, I still hit a sort of like, you know, plateau. And then I had to drop down all of that. So I guess to answer H Hus, I would it's think both. it's both. No, no, no. Losing weight is 10 times harder than gaining weight. But again, that's just personal preference because I know a lot of people who actually are trying to gain weight but just can't seem to gain weight. That's true. It all has to do with you know your lifestyle and your obviously genetics. And, and there's lots of things that go into it. Mm. But for the general mass, general population, mm. it's easier to lose uh, – I mean gain weight than to lose weight. Um, especially in this day and age where, you know, people don't really take care of themselves <clears throat> that exactly. they eat and all that stuff. Exactly. I, I literally almost lost it trying to lose this weight because after I'd had, uh, this is getting a little too personal, but uh, yeah. whatever. There's no rules, right? No, this, 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 no, we got to keep the, we got to answer keep the problem. Risk. Risk. We already did. Okay. All right. We'll keep that for another time. Then. <laughs> Okay, you're you're the you're the content you're the content moderator here. So if you say we'll go next, then we'll go next. Let's just end it there right. and say that it's that All much right. easier to lose. Right. I mean, uh, yeah. gain weight. All right. Next question. Do you think it's easier losing weight or? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it's easier to lose weight. Than you uh, okay. Weight. Awesome. awesome. <laughs> oh, we have Age Amber asking, "Why aren't you eating, Jimmy?" I'm done. Yeah, Jimmy. Why aren't you eating? I'm done. That's my friend asking me. Wow, your plate was so small. I'm about to die now. Hey, let me just say I ate a lot over there with my family as well. So, Okay, congratulations. Yeah. And she said, also, I hate that my picture pops up on stream. Can I be censored, please? Um, I'll, I'll think about it. I'll Take, think about it. She doesn't want to be on there. Take it off, Jimmy. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Sam Skull says, evening. What's going on, Sam? Good, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Sam Skull said, I had sushi once and was sick. Never again. Ooh. Ooh. You should That's, tell them that story, that story of the one time you went to. I'm, I'm trying to eat right now. I, I can already tell you're not going to eat anymore. No, I, I can't. I can't. I, have to I can this. already tell that. Oh. You're, no, no, no. <laughs> me knowing you, the fact that you put your chopsticks down for more than a minute right now already tells me that you're done. <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> oh, I know you. 
I know you pretty well. Hus <laughs> has three laughing emojis. I think he's laughing at you because you ain't finishing that plate. And our our one our man Wanjun man said John said he could do the whole plate, but that was like Wanjun man. Let me reiterate the fact he said he could eat that whole plate, but one double the size. <laughs> it was all. You know what that's called, Jimmy? That's called a front. It was all a front, and he got caught out in it. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Um, Hater Ali says, um, Marshall and Rashard for abused again today. Oh, that's actually a fantastic, not fantastic, but that's actually a topic I wanted to discuss. Um, what is he? Uh, what is he talking so, about? So, remember oh, during no, the oh, yeah, yeah, I, I, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Abused, and then today, uh, 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 Rashford was abused again, uh, and Marshall was abused again, rather. Um, yeah. I'm gonna say this once again, and I'm gonna maybe have to, this has to be like a daily thing, but. Yeah. There's no place on this planet for racists, and there's no room on this channel, on my following, on whatever, wherever you and I have a dialogue. Yeah, there's no room for racism. Period. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I'm not gonna swear here because I think a lot of the other clips that I, I've swore, yeah. I've swore way yeah. too much. But this is like a more more serious topic. So right, right. If you're a racist, then that you really need to go look in the mirror and take a look at yourself because your heart is 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 disgusting and tainted. Mm. If you feel like if a young player didn't produce a result in a football match, gives you the right to go to his his social media accounts and to his wife's media accounts, right, and to not only harass them, but to uh, leave monkey emojis and yeah. leave racial uh, slurs and stuff like that. You're mm -hmm. an absolute, you're an absolute piece of shit. There's no fucking place for you here. So get away from us. Yeah. You feel like shit. Yeah. We don't like yeah. people. Like that. I mean, we we want we want. Our fan, our fans, basically, uh, to feel like family. We're the thick like fam, right? Right. So we want everyone to feel included. We want everyone to uh, feel like they belong, and there's no place for that. And I think you know the Premier League's motto of "No room for racism" really, really fits here. And there, there's no room for that. There, there shouldn't be any room, and there, that shouldn't be something that you sort of right. And you know, you know, go uh, to even when Jimmy's not here. When I run the channel, you know, uh, a lot of the the conversations is always based on humanity. And the power yeah. of conversation and the power mm -hmm. of positivity and that's why i always try to stay positive wherever mm -hmm. we are whatever we do mm -hmm. uh, but one thing that riles me up more so than anything is is absolute ignorance and hate and mm -hmm. it's just not something that um i have mm -hmm. much patience for like i i i'd yeah. like to think of myself as somebody that's very patient and understanding and i yeah, always i don't know about that but yeah see jimmy <laughs> <laughs> when we're having conversations that's real right you keep it real <laughs> Not oh, I, that was me being, being real. See, this is why I caught it. <laughs> this is why we just flagged on YouTube because you guys, it's content though. <laughs> All right, but 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 on a serious note, guys, that's that's not something that I want to see. That's not something that anyone would want to see. So right, right. please, please restrain yourselves. Please, please look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, like, if you were in that position, how would you feel? Right, and there's a fine, there's a not fine. There's a clear distinction between criticism and harassment, right? Yeah, you have you have your right. It's it's, it's what that's what sports is, right? We as fans have have our own right to talk about how we felt about the match, how we felt about exactly. X, Y, and players, right? Yeah, but we just we only talk about the performance. We only talk about what happened on the pitch. Right. right. It's 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 that's not it it's not an opportunity for you to go and and hurt him personally. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. That's not what this should be all about. Of course, of course. And let's just leave it at that. Yeah. So it was it was a great question. It was. Thank you for bringing it up. It's something that you know should be talked about and should be in the public's eye. So. Right. Thank you. Um, HS out here saying the toxicity of social media is why I don't use it anymore. And you know that's that's also not a bad idea. Um, sometimes social media could be fun. It could be good, but sometimes if it gets too much and it's you know, if you get absorbed in it, it's it's not too good. So. Good up mm -hmm. on you, HS. But you know, let's get back into a little lightheartedness. Um, he asked, "Do you guys like curry?" <laughs> so I, I can I can answer this first. But my best friend is actually Indian, oh, and he and I am one to not discriminate against any types of cuisine. John can attest to this. I'm I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just very easy. I like a lot of foods. <laughs> he I don't think he's ever taken me anywhere. My best friend or John has taken me anywhere. I didn't say it was good. But I love curry. I love curry. I love paprika. I love paneer. I lo 
uh, the whole shebang. It's everything that I could ever wish for. <laughs> I love Indian food. And my friend and I always joke about saying like, oh, you know, maybe I was Indian in a past life or something. And he was maybe Korean because he loves Korean food too. So, you know, uh, um, Indian food, I I've really not had much opportunities to try. But I've, every time I've tried it, I absolutely enjoyed it. Uh, I, I can't try it as much because every time my Indian friends wanted to go grab it, like Indian curry, Kind of so spicy. spicy, like yeah, yeah, it is. It is. Spicy, like, punches you in the throat. Uh -huh. Like it's like a different it, spicy, right? It's like it's different from like uh, like Korean spicy. The, the 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 way that the spice is generated is completely different in each cuisine. Exactly, and exactly. Indian spice is is very. I don't know. I'm, I'm I'm not. I'm no Indian cuisine expert. I'm sure maybe you can attest to it better. Maybe you can provide feedback better, Jimmy. But it punches. Like no, oh no, it's 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 like a it's like a pop pop. You know, it's like, you. yeah, it's, it's crazy. Like if you get something spicy, that's Indian food. Oh, you yeah. know, it's going to be spicy. But I, 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 I'm, I'm much more of a bigger fan of, you know, Japanese curry. Um, Korean curry is, ah, like, yeah. is derived from Japanese curry, I think. But mm -hmm. Japanese curry is just, I think it's the, the perfect mildness, the, the, the mm, texture. Yeah. Of it. yeah. just, I, think, a, I, I think out of the three, if I were to rank it, I probably like Indian curry the best. Really? And then yeah. Japanese curry and then Korean curry. Because mm -hmm. I'm actually not – like, I'll eat Korean. Like, it's, it's called kare in Korean. And, you know, I won't, I won't not eat it. I'll eat it. But it's not something that I, like, crave. Or if I could choose something else, like, if there are two things, I probably wouldn't choose the curry. But if it's, like, Indian curry, you know, I like Japanese curry as well. So out of those three, probably Indian curry is my favorite. Um, guys, I, I think, I think John is nearing his limit and it kind of looks like, let me, let me take this off for a second. It looks like he's almost done though. You have like almost. 10 pieces left. Two, four, six, eight. Oh, nine, maybe a lot more than 10. Four, 15, pieces. <laughs> 15. How many pieces did I come with? Like 30 something, 32 maybe. I don't know. This is, I'm <laughs> never doing this again. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> This is the guy that said he wants to get the, the plate that was double the size of that. Stop bringing up. <laughs> I'm very, I'm very uncomfortable right now. So <laughs> stop making me upset. <laughs> uh, honestly, guys, though, back in the day, he could eat a lot, though. I do feel like the amount he could eat has gotten a lot less than what he used to be able to eat. But Of course. Well, back then, I weighed like... <sighs> No, even before then, like when you were younger, younger. Yeah, but younger. That's, that's Jimmy, but that's everybody. When you're young, your metabolism is, is insane. And I'm not trying to sound like an old fart, but. No, you already do sound like an old fart generally, so. To keep going, though. Jimmy, um, early on in the stream while you were gone, um, oh. H. Hus was helping me. He was like saying, you know, John, you know, hang in there. You're going to find your, you're going to find yourself the person to be your girlfriend or whatever. Uh. He, was, he was looking out for me. Oh. Uh. And now you're here ruining it for me. What are you talking about? I'm just just telling you how it is. Yo, keep him 100, right? How do you know? Maybe HS has a, has a friend that's that's into Korean Americans in New York and, you know, from Coventry. How do you know? And if you keep telling me that I'm an old fart, you're going to scare him away. What's wrong with you? What do you mean? What if that person also likes old farts? You never know. The next time we train uh, in football, I swear to God, I'm gonna I'm gonna two footed tackle your ass as soon as we get on the field. <laughs> just know that. Uh, oh yeah, wait, wait, you just you just got back up. You just got back up. Vish said, "If it makes you feel any better, John, me and my mates during uni a few years back had a thing where we'd order a big kebab from a takeaway, and none of us could ever finish until the final day of uni. So, wow. you know, there's that. Vish says you can do it. You Case wish. later, your boy Case later says, John, do you need a hug? Case later, I need a hug. <laughs> you know, I'm not trying to get real, but I haven't had a proper hug throughout this entire pandemic, and it was very sad. I couldn't ever, the time that I met my mom and my dad because I can't go to their house to visit because my grandparents are currently, you know, having uh, some health problems, and uh, since I live somewhere else with a lot of human exposure. Um, I couldn't visit them, but when I visited them, I literally had to stand outside the window and just talk through them through the window. Yeah, and it, was, it was very hard. It was very hard. Yeah, and 
I didn't realize how how much. I mean, I I mean, I knew it, but I didn't realize how much I'd miss family contact. Excuse me, family contact. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And just and on that, it's not just family contact; it's just contact in general, really. Like yeah, yeah. even with your friends, you know, with right. people right. that you care about. It's it really goes to show, like we are humans are like uh, like you know you know how it is. Yeah, humans need. You know, contact with humans. Humans need love. Yeah, humans need love. They need each other. Either way, um, yeah, I mean, I was there when he had to stand outside the window, and it was kind of sad. But you know, I think this next comment is really what we need to do, though, which is Jimmy. You should give John a hug. So you know, next time, next time I see you, I'll give you a, a big hug. Bye -bye. Uh, Mrs. Amber, I don't know what relationship you have with Jimmy, but. I'd rather hug a dead tree, <laughs> a dead tree, than give Jimmy a hug. Whoa, yo, I'm 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 big and cuddly, man. Let me cuddle you. It's not about the cuddle factor. <laughs> yo, um, open, open up another Streamyard link after this because I need to talk to you after this. I'm gonna, <laughs> I gotta get all my swearing out of the way. Uh, Vish says one big hug session when the pandemic is over. World Hug Day should be a thing when it ends if this isn't a thing already. <laughs> We gotta hey. do a yeah, you're right. Hey, I'm not the one that suggested it. She was the one that suggested I give you a hug. So hey, it's not my idea. <laughs> uh case that I said people who genuinely care for you, people who want that connection. Right. Um, right. Yeah. And that's family and friends, you know. Yep. Uh, yep. I, um people that know me very well know that I I I'm very strongly connected to my family and my friends. You know, I mm. uh, I think the pandemic really uprooted my lifestyle and I spent a lot of time with family and friends and I'm very yeah. collaborative and work a lot of, I work a lot with people and then, mm -hmm. you know, spend time with people Yeah, and to be away from my close ones for so long. It's, it's taken yeah. a mental toll. I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, I'm sure it's, it's a big mental toll to go from living with your family to living alone. That's a big mental toll. And it's, it's another thing to always, you know, have to be talking to me 24 seven, you know, only being allowed to see me every once in a while you know it, it takes a toll on people i know but you know once they get through it you know they come out as better people okay well if you guys are actually my friends like my actual friends that are watching right now <laughs> please uh, please dm me right now because i'll forward to you this link and you can come and join us and tell to the, to the thick like fam and the kill young names and keep it 100 about jimmy because <laughs> man is on a roll <laughs> i don't know uh, what he's on a roll uh age amber says yeah jimmy is basically a teddy bear hey i know uh miss amber uh again you might you know if you hug jimmy and you know you feel like he's a teddy bear that's fantastic you know what i mean like jimmy is a, <laughs> he, he's, he looks a teddy bear and that's great and all but um case center says you know what i heard people in major cities are renting <laughs> <laughs> Renting professional cuddlers. Jimmy self and cuddly, you could be a second career. <laughs> Case later. That's yo, that's that's hilarious. Jimmy, once you get that vaccine jab, yo, it's a wrap. <laughs> yo, once I become invincible, man, maybe I should, you know, do a high a uh, side hustle. You could do um you could do uh, what was that thing called? A task rabbit. You could do a task rabbit uh -huh. for just drive around, you know what I mean? Drive around in your whip. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then go pull up. Oh, out. oh like, my God. Teddy bear. Yo, anyone needs emotional support? Yo, a hug? I got you. Yo, $20 oh, a hug. $20 a hug, please. $20? Oh, my God. So hey, hey. Yo, I know it used to be free hugs, but, yo, we live in tough times now, baby. I like that. Gotta have that mindset. Moon, I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so, you know, I, I'm done my food. How about you show us how much more food you have? How, how much soup do you have left? All right, first of all, let me just tell you right now, the food contest was just only about the plate. The soup, that should be out of the question. Oh, 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 oh so everything, oh, oh. The soup, so it helps push it down because I'm actually having a very tough time right so, now. So know. if you were to, you know, measure yourself, you know, like from, from the bottom being empty and, you know, maybe throat level being really full, how, how where are you on this scale? Um, 
the throat being really full. <laughs> yeah, like like right here, right under your chin. That's like if you eat one more, it'll all come out. <laughs> So right here is very full, and you know, all I'm assuming all the way like down here is empty. I'm doing it. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm here. Ah, okay, 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 okay. So, so you're basically just stuffing it in at this point. Uh, to a degree, yeah. <laughs> so uh, let, I mean, we're, let we're me getting... ask you another question. Out of everything, because you know, we got we got a variety plate. It had a it had sushi, it had sashimi, it had rolls. Mm -hmm. But out of everything, what was your what was your favorite? I mean, you can't go wrong with the salmon salmon nigiri, right? One point. Yeah, that, I mean, that's the class. That's two points. Two points sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, 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 salmon salmon is just one. Of, uh, but I'm actually I actually like fluke a lot better. Oh, was there a fluke in there? There was, yeah, there. right? Yeah, that was pretty good as well. Yeah. Honestly, I'm not too picky with the food I eat, so I think it was all good. But I personally am a roll kind of guy, hmm. and if anyone knows anything about me. Philadelphia roll, <laughs> go to. That's my go to. I don't. I don't care what you say or what anyone says. Philadelphia roll, though. I. I just can't. I can't live without it. Sometimes. Okay. Yeah. You know. It, I. I can tell. Is it, you are progressively getting more and more. <laughs> this is. You know. This is getting to a point where it's like. <laughs> Keep it coming. Like, keep my mind open. Let's go somewhere. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. It looks like most of the the questions are done, but Good. oh wait, we just got we just got an answer here. H S says I actually want to move to the U S for work eventually. Average wage for engineers in the U K is twenty eight k to thirty k pounds. Not good at all. Wait a second. Really. I think I think, but then I, think, I guess you have to like think about you know living costs, right? Mm -hmm. In UK compared to US, or and even in the US, it depends on where in the US you're going. Right? Living costs in the UK, I think, are similar. Not probably not as much as, you know, in maybe New York. I mean, is Coventry different? I don't know. Yeah. Maybe Coventry might be a little bit. The cost of living is maybe a little bit lower than in London, but, mm -hmm. but, you know, it's not just about uh, HS. If there's one thing I might want to. Uh, uh, share with you is you should think also about long term. Where where do you where do you actually see yourself? Not just the immediacy in terms of salary and whatnot, but where do you see yourself in five years or your ten years? Mm -hmm. um, and I only say this because I think I've made a mistake in that regard. Mm -hmm. I was so thinking short term. I wanted to go into the job field immediately because my yeah. family was just so much in debt. I was in debt because of school. And I just wanted to get out of debt. The idea of debt just absolutely terrified me. So I thought, you yeah. know what? Let me spend maybe a year or two, work, get, you know, get the debt off my plate, and then start fresh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it didn't work out. <laughs> I mean, everyone makes mistakes. I mean, no one's perfect. And, you know, and you know, and once I go back into school and whatnot, it'll be a different story. But yeah, of course, of course. And hey, there, there's no timeline for when you should do something or. Um, how old you should be when you do something. You know, everyone goes at their own pace. Wow, you Jeremy. Know? You know, you can be, you can do what you want as long as you are you like it, as long as you want to do it. I think that's what matters. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, HS says, in five years, I'd want to be in the U.S. working at a robotics engineering company. Wait, stop. Stop. Jimmy. What? Give me a round of applause. Shout out to the TechLeck fam, HS. You know, I love what? that. It's not just about him wanting to work at a cool robotics engineering company, mm -hmm. but just the fact that, you know, he has goals and aspirations. I think that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> I'm twenty five k in debt already. <laughs> you know, in this day and age, one thing that I learned from one of my professors was that he said, "In this day and age, we're all in debt." Yeah. Uh, no matter how little or how much it is, everyone's in debt. Right. It's just the, the way the system is. So yeah, yeah. you just got to work hard to, you know, get that yeah. off your plate so you can live a little bit more free. Exactly, exactly. If you work hard, you know, it, it'll it'll work for you. Yeah, work like Jimmy. He works mad hard. Actually, no, not really. I don't work that hard. I, I work smart. 
John over here works hard, though. He works smart and he works hard. He just works. Yeah. <laughs> See, Jimmy, um, while we were talking all that, yeah, I finally add two two pieces. I don't know if you guys can see. Two. It's two more. Oh, it's two sushi rolls. What about everything else on that plate? This is all cabbage. I mean, I, mean, this I, is I, I see lemon. I see cabbage. I am not eating lemon, Jimmy. I see ginger. I see... I think I'm getting nauseous from holding in this rage. <laughs> want to keep well, everyone give him a round of applause. I don't think I could have eaten that entire plate. Uh, oh, Sam Skulls here says, next year I'm going to be moving to Canada. Wait, wait. wait. Next year I'm going to move to Canada. I've been working hard for this for a few years. Oh, that's great. That's mm -hmm. good. That's good. That's good. You know, so, Sam, well, I don't know what your plans are with respect to moving to Canada from where you are, but mm -hmm. if it means, you know, making yourself happier, yeah. I'm all for it. All for I'm it, man. All... Uh, Vish actually told me what the lemon was for, but he says the lemon is there to squash into the eyes. Um, I already have bad vision. If I squeeze the lemon in my eye, I will have zero vision. You won't have to see me, man. Oh, well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, HS says, well done on finishing the food. One look, more piece. One more piece. Look, just honestly, I found this very silly because I honestly don't think – I don't really like mukbang because I don't think there's anything um, – there's nothing to congratulate somebody that's just eating a hell of a lot of food, right? Yeah, I don't think that's, of course. that's like, cool. Of course. Of course. But, but you were able to finish your food, which is what matters. Right. Well, since I was young, if my if I left food in the on my plate, my grandpops and my my pops. One time, uh, I remember when I was in Korea when I was a little kid. I think I must have been like four or five years old. I just remember wow. still vividly. Uh, we were eating dinner, mm -hmm. and there was like four four specks of rice grains still left in the bowl. And you know when we were growing up, back when I used to be in Korea, we would have to show my grandpa, grandfather, the bowl mm -hmm. to show that we finished eating. Yeah. Uh, and one day I was just being, you know, stupid. And I just like ate, and then um, I wasn't, you know, I'm a four year old, I'm a five year old, right? It's almost like borderline abuse if you think about it to a degree, right? Yeah. I finished eating it, and then my grandfather was like, "What's in your bowl?" And then let me see it. So I showed it to him, and there was like four or five. There's like there was, all right, let me not say four or five. Maybe there was like maybe seven or eight. There was. There it was, wasn't like, cleaned up. Right. You could see that it wasn't fully clean. Like I didn't scrap the bowl. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. He was like, "All right, you're gonna sit right there and you're gonna wait for me." Uh -uh. I put the bowl in the sink and I sat under the sink because I was terrified. I was like, "Oh my god, uh -huh. my old grandpa pops is gonna he's gonna rinse me." Uh, so I sat there and I was terrified. I was like, "I should have just finished eating it." You know what I mean? And I remember I remember waiting like 30 minutes and he came. He's like, he's like, "Oh, when I was your age." I couldn't feed my brothers and sisters, so I had to eat mud. And I had to go forage for food and catch birds, like you know those pigeons, like yeah. something. Like pigeons yeah. he used to have, like he used to have to create traps to eat that. He's like, I don't want to, you know, reprimand you for not finishing food, but you should think about your actions. And I'll never forget that to this day because mm. ever since then I, I I absolutely despise leaving food and it was just one of those mm -hmm. things that well it looks like today is not that kind of day. Yes. Yeah. As long as, <laughs> I mean, the garnish or whatever, that's fine. <laughs> Let's just leave yeah. it. As um, long as you had all you like the main stuff, that's what matters. Right, right. Um, so Case Slater has a question here for me. But he says, Jimmy, what does John's Rage look like if John's Rage was a sandwich? <laughs> that's a fantastic question. Wow. The way Case Slater phrased that. <laughs> you better huh. be about this. I swear to God. Huh. You know what? Okay. So everyone knows that uh, both John and I live in New York, but there is a there is a place that everyone goes to to get sandwiches called the Christina's. There is a very famous sandwich there called the Heart Attack. <laughs> right? 
uh, and and everything that goes into it will give you a heart attack. And the reason why I describe his rage as a heart attack is because sometimes his rage, it seems like he'll have a heart attack. <laughs> Yeah. Well, Jimmy, <laughs> if you could pull the comments down real quick, I just want to show the, the plate. Ooh. Clean. Clean. Uh, soup time. <laughs> in, the, <laughs> in the meantime, HS says, I think the pur purpose of moving places for better opportunity, that's pretty much the foundation. That is and true. Yeah. That's oh, true. Like, I think yeah, one of the reasons why I'm here in America is because we were looking for better opportunities. Of oh, course, I didn't see that. what is that? Yeah, I know. I, I was just about to put that up, but Sam Skulls, our guy. Five. Sam five Skulls, thank you so much, chat. man. Wow. Well, much love to you too, as well. He much says you guys the best. Much love. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, thank Sam. You. you know, we're you all are. having fun and, and and enjoying our company together. You know, but yeah, of course. We're so grateful for you guys always. You know, we're not in it to do this for money, but just the fact that you guys are sharing with us your hard earned bucks is, is, is an absolute blessing. So thank of you course. so much. Thank you so much. Case Slater says laughing emojis. I'm sure to my heart attack analogy. But. Right. Right. That was, I mean, yeah, that's tell, me not, tell me now. That was a great, that was a great uh, analogy. You're talking about your answer. Yes. My answer. That's horrible. The question that, was fantastic. That no, question, no, no, no. I, that's, that's to describe emotion in a sandwich. That's fantastic. No, no, no. He just doesn't want to admit that it's true. What I said, <laughs> <laughs> guys, I feel like after, after this stream, he's going to, he's going to call me and he's going to say, come outside right now. <laughs> I'm outside your house. <laughs> outside. Wear your workout clothes. Cause we're going to fucking scrap. <laughs> My hair is a mess because I actually put um, gel in it. No, not gel. It's like Boots? dry shampoo. It's like some sort of like conditioning treatment or something. I had to use it because my hair is getting so long and I have very dry. Um, my hair is very like fr like frizzy. Fraz it's frazzle dazzle. Frazzle dazzle. Yeah, yeah. So I needed to make it plumpa lampa, and so I was just like, <laughs> you know what? You know. Is it working though? I mean, it's my first day trying it, so. Oh, okay. So the next time we see you on stream, it'll be. No. no. <laughs> I mean, you saw me this morning. It was very like you know, elegant. You know? Hey, yeah, yeah. I'll give that to you. I'll give that to you. It did. Can you share actually a, a, a clip from from the stream today so you can see my hair? I don't know how to do that. So. You are absolutely useless. <laughs> you know how far my keyboard is. <laughs> Do it, do it. Yo, our our um thumbnail looks pretty good, Jimmy. We're just laughing. We're looking stupid. What thumbnail? Our thumbnail for this show. Oh, really? <laughs> hey, hey, we just out here having a good time, you know, talking about eating, eating ginger, lemons, you know, you know that that's funny because my. Uh, uh, one of the places I like to go to, or one of the places I used to like to go to before, you know, the whole quarantine thing was a place called Ginger and Lemongrass. Look, your hair looks like I. Uh, that's fan. That's fab tabulous. Well, let's see. Actually, the beginning. Oh, this is the match review video. That's right. I actually, it was actually nicer in the morning. <laughs> call, call that nice. Well. Given the fact that I couldn't do anything with it, I can't even cut it or trim it. Whatever, whatever. I don't even know what I'm doing. This. Oh, I, I, well, let me show you the the comment that um we were talking about. Where is it? What? We were talking about relationships and. Oh. Wait, where is it? I think I might have. See, oh wait, wait, wait. That, that, that's a nice comment. He said, "I think um, that was okay day." I said, "I thought you were wearing a Crystal Palace shirt." Okay, Chus. You see? Hey, Chus. Hey, Chus says, "John, I'm sure there's a Korean babe waiting for you somewhere in New York." You see that? <laughs> Guys, I'm sure there is, but you know what? John is like a very oh, you're showing us all your, your about messages, that. huh? <laughs> um, John is a very much a um, I don't know. He he. 
he wants to start dating, but it doesn't seem like he really wants to start dating. All right. Well, this show is not about dating. Well, I don't know <laughs> what this show is about, to be honest with you, but. No, we, again, we just out here. We eat it, you know. Vish says, don't think I've ever seen Jong with long hair. Suits him, though, and I followed him for five years-ish. Thank you, Vish. Appreciate Sam, the love. Sam Skull says, I honestly can't remember pre-long-haired John anymore. It's been so long. Right? It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy how time has flown. I mean, like... Exactly. Exactly. Honestly, I was I was growing my hair as well. And... Just... Yeah, no, it's long. It's long. But I, I was actually growing my... I don't know if I... Was I streaming when... Were we doing our show when I had long hair? Or was it cut already? Uh, it was probably cut. Yeah, but I I I had longer hair than John did before I cut it, and right. you know I was I I was sad the day I had to cut it because it's a funny story. My family decided to you know go to a park, you know very you know not not like a very um not a busy park and take a family photo because we haven't done it in like ten years, and you know hair was longer than John's at this point, and they said you know if you want to be in our photo you cut the hair. And I had I had an existential crisis because like, do I want to keep the hair, or do I want to be in the family photo? And you know, as you guys can tell now, I you know went with the went with the photo. But sometimes I regret it. Sometimes I should have just been like, no, I would, I'll just keep the hair, and you guys can take the photo. <laughs> but I I had the hair for a long time, and now my family is just like, I don't even remember you with long hair. <laughs> my dad and my mom are like, you have to cut that hair. <laughs> Like and then my mom is like, you have to go get a girlfriend and, and cut the <laughs> the hair. And I was like, Mom, what if the girls like longer hair? And she's like, if that's the case, grow it as long as possible. <laughs> uh case later says, Jimmy, I feel like you're holding in what John truly needs. Share with the audience. <laughs> case later. Um, that's a fantastic question again, but we'll save that for like other times. You know, we can't Jimmy, let's just don't just um, release no. everything out in one shot. No, I think no, I think this statement is, you know, it's somewhat true, but it should be phrased, Jimmy. I feel like you're what John truly needs. You know, that's okay. You get get rid of everything in there. It's just I feel like you're what John truly needs. Okay, now I'm officially upset. Tilted <laughs> <laughs> and angry. Juan, Juan, Juan John man said, "Oh wow, John finished." Oh, Juan John Juan, man, come back on here. Come back Juan on. John just- man, I was actually very surprised as well. I wasn't expecting him to actually finish it. So, um, I did it. And I'm never doing this again. I'm just letting you know. What is supposed to be enjoyed? This is not enjoyed. This is, this is not enjoying. This is, this Kate, is the Case later said, long hair is nice sometimes. I've done both. This is actually my fir- first time I've grown in actually this long. It's like- I mean, I don't even, even like your long hair from before was, wasn't like that kind of long. Right. It was, it was my- probably like my hair kind of long, like a little yeah. longer than this, but not like, you know, fully locks, locks, you know, right. kind of long. Um, we have Age Amber says thank you, Jimmy's family. Thank you. Yeah. I don't know how close you are to Miss Amber here, but the fact that she said thank you, Jimmy's family, means that she really knows you. She she's one of my close friends. So. Hair, hair with the long situation that was. Uh, yeah. I mean, like, it looked nice. Like you, your hair is like lush, and you have you know very thick follicles, so it looks nice. But, thank you, thank you. I mean, but, I know you want to be me, but you just can't. Uh, so your problem wasn't your hairstyle. You know what your problem was? What it was this? <laughs> that was the problem. That, guys, guys, that mustache was that's <laughs> guys. It's always been my dream, you know, ever since I was a kid to get, have a full stash, full on man beard. And I like only grow it only grows here and here. <laughs> so <laughs> there it was, it's just this, it's just, it's just this and this. You know? I grow, I, 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 no, always- I, you know, I'll give, I'll give it to John. He, he can get, you know, he can get the stubble going, like uh-huh. he can get it going. Mine's not stubble. But it's, it doesn't. It doesn't look delicious. No, like, it doesn't. But it's better than mine. Yeah, yours looks like mine's cheddar. like. Yeah, it it right. looks like if I'm if I'm driving or walking near an elementary school, I'll get caught by the police. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, you did look like it looked disgusting, and I'm so glad. You did. Exactly, exactly. My entire, you know what? <clears throat> I'm gonna, I'm gonna. You know, this is a little side story, but I could tell how you know women feel when they ask the question, do you not see anything different about me? You know, when they get like their cut a little, you know, you know why? I had that stash for eight months and it was so long. And every day, everyone that saw me, my family, you know, John, whoever I was with, they'd always tell me to cut it, right? I The day I cut it, no one in my family says a word. 
And you know what the funny thing is? My mom looked at me the day I cut it. And she was like, oh, you look nice today. <laughs> so she told you. But then she, and then two days later, I was like, you don't, you don't see anything different? Like, there's nothing, you know, going on? And then they're like, oh, did you cut your stash? And I was like, I hate everyone. <laughs> I was like, I hate everyone. I'm, well, I don't know why you're trying to grow that because that, that was not. Because right. it was, okay, think about it. It was a once in a lifetime thing. Um, two, quarantine, no one's going to see me anyway, you know, except for family and you guys, like my close friends. Right. So if anything, I don't care what y'all think about me. And honestly, I thought it'd be, it'd be funny to do it. But the longer it got, the, the oh, more and more. Jacob O.C. says, what's all this about then? Jacob O.C., my man, welcome to join into the show. We actually did like oh. a a kind of random one where we just wanted to shoot something, you know, fun, something different. And oh. we wanted to just eat in front of camera and just chat with you guys, see if we could talk about things not football related. We obviously exactly. couldn't go five minutes without talking not uh, without not talking about football. So we did that a little bit. But exactly, exactly. Those little side things where we just, you know. Yeah, we just we just talking. Jacob OC said, "Is this like a sushi challenge?" No, it's not a sushi challenge. It was just we've been craving sushi for a while, and yeah. 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 And again, my guy said he could eat a whole plate of sushi, oh. and I said no, but he said yes. So well, we're like, we why are. don't we mukbang it? Why don't we make? You know, it how, you know how sad this picture is right now. I'm sitting <laughs> well, in my. Right? I have four like, so this this is like um this is I'll show you, let me just show you how I had this set up. You see, you see the shoebox, ah. and that's my clothing. This is my uh, like my my summer wear. Oh, uh, you put it all on top of the boxes. <laughs> Stacked four boxes on top of each other. Uh, uh. Literally sitting in front of my t computer. If my mom saw this, or if my grandpa, my dad saw this, he would be like, "The Shin family is is fucked." <laughs> oh man, yeah, so this is what I'm doing to to try and get this to work. But uh, you know, honestly, like setting up a side, it was it was uh -huh. like. You know, we'll uh -huh. probably wrap up in like the next maybe 10, 15 minutes. But yeah, it's a pleasure. We had <laughs> Case later says she's not even in the chat, Jimmy. I don't know. What, what is she talking about? What are you talking about? Don't know. Don't know. <laughs> Sam School says you have to get a girlfriend and cut your hair. That's exactly what my mother said to me. Yep. Mom's going to mom. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, moms always want you to look, you know, your best. Yeah. But my mom is like, you have, hey, to, get, you have to get a girlfriend. But if yeah. you're. If the girl likes you with long hair, then you have long hair. But if the girl yeah. likes you with short hair, you have short hair. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. His mom kind of savage too, you know. I, I've been on the brunt end of it every once in a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. HS says, Jimmy and I have the same beard problems. Yes, I'm not the only one. You know, I'm not, you know, it's just, you know, it's genetics. No one in my family can do it. Right. right. Um, Jacob O.C. said, I don't think I've seen many Far East Asians with um, beards. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just one of those things that's not really prevalent, uh, prominent rather, uh, in, in Asian traits. So, mm -hmm. uh, case letter says the honesty here is beautiful. <laughs> there's no rules, you know what I mean? No, no rules. No, there's nothing to hide. Nothing to hide. Right. Yeah, there's nothing to hide. Here. Jacob OC said, "What sushi would you recommend?" Bring. Speaking of sushi, let's bring in the sushi pro here. He looks like he's looks like he's not ready though. Oh, he's ready. He's ready. <laughs> oh, we brought in the sushi expert. Sushi. Oh, yo. <laughs> Hello, hello. Hello. Yes. So we, we have a question here directed to not you in particular, but you know, you're the sushi guy. You know, Am I the sushi, sushi guy? You the sushi guy. I'm the sushi guy. Oh, you the sushi guy. Okay, well if you could recommend uh, like a simple roll to start with, maybe. Uh if you're a fan of raw fish, I definitely go with the salmon. You know, it's a little fatty, a little chewy, great taste. Wow. But if you can't handle raw fish, then I would definitely just go for a, a California roll. It's imitation crab meat, but still good with the avocado, cucumber, and the sushi rice on the outside. Wow. Yeah. Jimmy. <laughs> that was a lot better than I was expecting. Well, the way he described that, that was fantastic. That was, that was a lot. Wow. I wasn't one, expecting that. One roll I would not recommend is the Philadelphia roll because that is oh, not a real okay, sushi. Get out of here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that's, that's disrespectful. Bring my boy back. I guess you, you, that's disrespectful. Yo, where, where's right. my guy? Where's my guy? Where's my you can, guy? You cannot put cream cheese with rice. That is the most disgusting thing you can ever do to your food. And whoever eats Philadelphia rolls and likes it, you should. Where's my guy, go Joseph? Where, yo, where's my guy, Joseph? Where's 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 my help? Come on. No, you, no help for you, Jimmy. We're not disrespecting Philly. We're disrespecting the Philadelphia no, roll. No, no, anything. No, if it was, it's a Philadelphia roll. You're disrespecting Philly. No, 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 no. It's yes, yes, yes. you can't put cream cheese and rice together, Jimmy. You eat 
Wait, like a bowl wait, of rice Don, with cream cheese. Okay? Don, you ate some today. What did you think about it? I mean, like, <laughs> it's like his face is all right. So, <laughs> 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 just just kick me out of my own. <laughs> Yo, no rules. That's no crazy. rules. <laughs> oh, oh, Kay Slater says, I see an aesthetic John, resourceful yet sad. And he said, facts, John, roll with what she wants to a point, that is. Yeah. Look, I mean, uh, if I can get back into a relationship. Uh, <sighs> here, and, you know, if she says she likes me with long hair, then I'll keep it long. But if she says short hair, then I'll keep it short. I mean. But what if she says, I just want what you Well, she want. wants you bald. Okay. Well, you know, I think I think John did go bald before. Yeah, but that was when I was single because I was like, I hate this. That's true. <laughs> I hate everything. I'm That's doing true. Right. Yeah, true. Very true. I mean, I I don't think I was expecting to see you bald, and he just came out one day and he had no hair. <laughs> I was just like, exactly. exactly. No, John looked very good with no hair. No, yeah, it looks fine. It, it looks fine. It was a fit. It was a fit. Yeah, it was okay. It was okay. Or scary. And that's the problem. What do you, you know, say? I look scared. <laughs> oh, I mean, you look scary with long hair too. No, he looks more more friendly with long hair. If he has like short hair or like bald hair, like John looks very intimidating because he doesn't smile out in public very much. He always has like a straight, like, serious true. face. So he's that's like, not true. No, John he does. Smiles he does. A lot. John smiles. No, no. He smiles a lot on on YouTube, but not in real life. <laughs> nah, nah. That's nah. the thing, like fam. <laughs> This is insider information. John does not smile at any of the outside. Yeah, if you guys ever see him in real life, he won't he won't say anything. <laughs> but yes. Oh, Jacob O. C says, is sushi popular in China or is it mainly Japan? Well, mm. sushi originated from Japan, right? And initially sushi was supposed to be a, a street food. It was initially started in Japan uh, as street street cuisine. Yeah, like little street cuisine people such as uh, Pop of sushi, I um, but it's popular all over the world now, honestly. Yeah, I think it's still popular in China. I'm pretty sure you can like order, take out delivery for it. So. It's popular it's a- everywhere now. Sushi has become such a. Um, such a- mm-hmm. no, I, I am sorry, but one gentleman, there's a lot of background noise in here. Oh yeah, my rents are doing something. I'm, so I'm gonna mute you for a yeah, second. Me- <laughs> Okay, one time man is muted. Um, he is muted. Um, Joseph says, are any of you guys married? I see Jimmy with a ring. I, I have no ring on. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Uh, I just saw you take that off. <laughs> Put that <shit> back on. <laughs> no, this ring um, is with my family. It's with me, my, my mom, and my sister. So, um, Do I want to tell the story? Story of what? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Um, Jacob OC says, I asked because your name is Shin and I assume it's Chinese. Uh, Jacob, no, it is actually Korean. I am of Korean descent. Us three, all of us, all of us here are, are, are Korean Americans. Um, Won Jun and, and Jimmy are much more American than myself. I think they of were, course. Um, myself, I was actually, I immigrated here to the States. Um, I'm actually yes. celebrating my 20 years here in New York, in America in, um, yes. in a week or two. So, uh, yeah. it should be fun. Yeah. I'm gonna be celebrating by myself, obviously, but yeah. Yeah. Can you unmute uh, him? I think he should be okay. He's still wilding out. Yeah. <laughs> Keep him mute. Okay. Jacob O.C. says, so I wasn't sure if you just liked it in general, if it's more of a family tradition. Um, oh, I don't think it's a family tradition, but I know John used to get sushi for his family every once in a while back in the day. My grandparents. So back uh, in 2019, up until 2019, rather, when I used to live with my family, uh, we are a family of six. So mm. my grandparents, you know, they don't really go out much, so they're just kind of hanging out and whatnot. So um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. every time, uh, sometimes on my way back from work, I just go to the local sushi shop and uh, just pick up some food, you know. And I pick up, and they're very old, so it, it's hard for them to chew. So sometimes it's hard for them to chew. Uh, uh, anything tough like meat or anything like that. So this dude, all right, this dude out here doing like freaking, like freaking hand motions and emoji moves. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it, it, sushi is one of those things that's very easy, easy on the palate. It's easy to chew and whatnot. And you know, Koreans absolutely have an affinity for fish. So mm-hmm, mm-hmm. one 
of those things that I knew that my grandparents always enjoyed. So I would always yeah. uh, bring home sushi yeah. once. Yeah, and yeah, my family as well. Like every time there's like a, a birthday, especially my grandparents' birthdays, usually we'd go to like a a Korean style sushi um, restaurant. So like it's 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 like half tradition, half just you know we just eat it every once in a while as well. Yeah, love to go out with them, but my grandparents. Yeah. They don't want to spend money, so yeah. the idea of them going out is is horrible to them because they're like, you have to pay tip. Yeah, it's like they they can't accept it, so mm -hmm. they don't like going out. Yeah, um, Joseph here says, oh, I think this is a question for you, but also I've always wondered, John, from an insider perspective, what accounted for the fundamental decline of the full time Devils channel? Did you read fundamental there? I just wanted to, you know, add some flavor into the. Some flavor okay joseph yeah. said also i always wondered john from an insider perspective what account why are you rereading it you you absolutely misquoted him there was a fundamental in there he said, what account the question what accounted for the decline of the full-time devil's channel um uh, let's see from an honest perspective i don't like to think of it as a decline i think it was more so that they were hitting a bit of a lull in terms of the, the quality of the content um I don't know as how far as I can speak on their behalf because I don't represent them. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, let's just say that they weren't really able to express their own levels of creativity. Um, mm -hmm. Now they do. And now they're you know absolutely firing on all cylinders. Steve's got his own uh, – his own channel is doing well. Adam's also got his own personal channel. You know, Chef Paddock. Now it's called. They're doing fantastic. They have their own football club that they're running into the minor, uh, to the lower divisions of the leagues, and they're playing very, very well. Shout out to Cam. Shout yeah. out to Cam. That's my guy. Shout out to Cam. Shout out to Ronaldo Brown, my guys. But um, no, but you know, they're doing fantastic, and I'm 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 always happy for them. Uh, lots of people ask why I don't show up on the channel anymore, but that's because most of the videos that they do is actually done in house in terms of like mm -hmm. live recordings. They don't do a lot of you know web calls and whatnot mm -hmm. you know which is fine you know that's the direction that they want to take that's completely fine of course of course what what is feeding me a fruit. that looks like a pear it looks like an asian pear a, an asian pear yeah um so thank you for answering my question by the way um oh. eric c eric c said oh snap surprise stream eric, what's eric. Going on? one of our main men's just kind of did like a random uh yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, we're like let's get sushi and we're thinking like what else could we do with the sushi i was like yo mukbang yeah, so we're just like, you know what? Let's just chat with the fam because, you yeah, know, exactly. there's no room. Exactly, exactly. Case Slater also says, America is better for you being here, John. Oh, that's, that's, uh, uh, that's, very oh, that's well. cute. That's cute. That's nice. Um, Eric C says, date a Laotian girl in high school. Hey, broke Eric. Up with, <laughs> <laughs> broke up with me during a passing period. That's as close as I was to having a potential Asian family. Oh, yikes. I'm sorry to hear that, but. <laughs> but hey. Hey, 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 it happens. We're sorry about that, but hey, you know, Laotian, nice. <laughs> Jacob O.C. said, literally, my only experience with sushi was with a friend. We were blind drunk after a football match in London and thought it'd be a funny, it'd be, thought it'd be funny to steal a sushi box from Yosushi at St. Pancras. <laughs> Jacob O.C., and then we were then restrained and arrested for being drunk and disorderly. <laughs> now, that is a nice story. The best story we've seen, we've heard all day. That's a fantastic. Now that story. is a story. Yo Sushi is, is one of those uh, chains that you see in the airports. I think. Yeah, um, yeah. It's like it's like they just sell like the boxes. Like and it's like eight sushi, time, it's eight sushi pieces or something like that. The last time I had Yo Sushi was actually I think in JFK when I was on my way to Paris. <laughs> or maybe it might have been actually in Paris. It was absolutely. <laughs> it was trash. <laughs> <laughs> and I think one like four pieces of sushi was like. 20 pounds or something it was crazy oh. price was absolute nuts for that it was quality was doo-doo it was dog poo-poo that's not what you want yeah. <laughs> joseph said was in seoul for a month in 2014 and he loved it that's nice nice to hear joseph that's nice that's nice seoul is very i i like to say this a lot but i feel like seoul is a great place to go travel and visit there's a lot of cultural stuff a lot of um you know modern stuff that you can go do and see and experience it so, so. Uh, you know I, I always i always strongly recommend traveling especially uh uh, when it comes to global travel, because yeah, I mean, local travel is also a huge, uh, a huge must because you'll be very surprised at cultural differences, you know, just complete lifestyles. There's so much differences and, and, and also similarities between even town to town. Yeah. But let alone, we're going talking about traveling across the world. You get to experience so much 
excuse me, you get to experience so much more and learn so much more about other cultures and, and how they survive and live as human beings. And I think it's such an important, important aspect of human life and humanity in general, in terms of learning exactly. about people and, and learning about life. Um, exactly. I I wish I've done, I could have done more traveling. Uh, I, I was actually planning on doing a lot of traveling in 2020 yeah. before it absolutely all exactly. went Wherever yeah. you guys are, if you if if you guys are planning on traveling somewhere, whether it be alone or whether it be with friends or a significant other, I strongly strongly recommend Seoul. Seoul is a, an amazing city, and obviously, you know, us three are a little biased to it because we're all of Korean descent. But um, Seoul is, a, is, a, is an amazing city. It's a fantastic city. Mm -hmm. uh, they are a uh, it's a city that's booming with with food culture. Also nightlife, if that's if that's your thing. Um, Jimmy yeah. loves to absolutely get pissed drunk all the time. So maybe Jimmy and Jacob O.C. can uh, link up in London. You know, we're actually thinking of Jacob O.C. We're actually thinking of going to visit London and and, and Manchester and Liverpool and, and things like that in the near future. So maybe if we can, oh, that'll be great, Jimmy. How about we do like a a, a little meet and greet? Yeah, yeah, we can, yeah, you know, yeah. England has fantastic five side pitches. So maybe we could oh, do. Oh, like, that would be nice. That'd be fun. Sick. That'd be, That'd be nice. That'd be nice. So, I mean, once this whole thing blows over and we have, you know, the luxury to be able to travel, you know, peacefully again, you know, right. we can always try to set it up. Right. Uh, my friend Jimmy Conrad does a lot. He used to do a lot of those, um, uh, you know, football meet and greets. So every time mm, yeah. he city, he'd be like, all right, team, where is everybody? Come. I'm playing at this park at this hour. Everybody come. And he'd always have like like a hundred kids show up and yeah. they all always play football. And I, I always found that to be absolutely amazing. I thought mm -hmm. that Jimmy Conrad, what he did for the culture was just amazing. Mm -hmm. So that was great. I would love to do that. You know, I, yeah. I'm not gonna, I don't care if there's like five people showing up, 10 people showing up. If, exactly. if, we, if we can play football, Jimmy, if we can imagine we can play football in England. Exactly. With That's people that, again. yes, yes. Jacob O.C. says, I'd love to try sushi properly at some point. And yeah. I mean, I, I love sushi and it's good. I mean, some people don't like it, but. Um, yeah, I mean, you should try it. Not from Yo Sushi when you're pissed drunk, but <laughs> if there's one, sorry, Jimmy. If there's one thing uh, I'd recommend, never try, never eat sushi. cheap sushi for your first. Sushi. <laughs> yeah, that, and that, they sell it in airport. <laughs> yeah, it completely ruins your your palate <laughs> and your perception of what sushi could be. Exactly, exactly. Um, Case Slater says, "How has living in New York changed for each of you in this pandemic?" Well, I don't want to talk too much about it because I think yeah. maybe. Uh, we've been going on for quite a bit now, but if I may speak, uh, if I may speak about it, it was very life changing for me. I, I learned a lot about life, of course. Um, mm -hmm. you know, I, I've, I'm, I've grown in a, I don't want to say tough upbringing, but it's been, it's been a tough uh, childhood year for me, for me and my mm -hmm. brother in particular. Um, but, you know, with respect to uh, what this pandemic has taught me is that, you know, it's given me a little bit more of a different perspective on actually what life is. And, you know, it's allowed me to take life a little bit more seriously with respect to appreciating myself, appreciating my family, the loved ones, the bonds, the connections. Um, but the most important thing I'd probably say just to wrap up my part is that I think I learned a lot about myself. Uh, moving out from my family has always been something that I felt like, you know, needed to be done gradually. You know, my grandparents and my parents have a have they rely on me heavily to do a lot of the mm -hmm. stuff at home and my brother as well but mm -hmm. you know just moving out and leaving them to do all that alone in the pandemic was absolutely like tough for me to swallow uh, mm -hmm. it was hard for me to digest to 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 have to speak to them over the phone and explain to them what this letter might mean or yeah what bill might mean or or you know i used to do all the picking up my brother and i my brother had so much work cut out for him because for like first maybe a span of the few months that uh, when we were in this, the heat of the pandemic, he was actually there doing everything for the family. So uh, if it wasn't for him, it would have been a very, very difficult transitional phase. But yeah, uh, yeah, it was tough for me because I only had I had to learn a lot about myself. And I'm not saying it was a bad thing, but I think for all of us, I think we all should take some time to to kind of do some soul searching, you know, mm. try to understand who we are as people. I think that's very important. And I learned that the hard way to a degree here during mm. the pandemic. Mm. That's that's nice. That's that's good reflection, right? What about you, Jimmy? Uh, how was uh, how was living um, in New York has changed for this pandemic? Uh, and it's uh, honestly, you know, you lived in Philadelphia for for a period in your life. But, yes, uh, yes. But and you know, and you moved here when you were younger, so it's not, it's really not, I guess, not that big of a significance. But uh, maybe in terms of just speaking on about the pandemic, how has that affected you? Mm, yeah, I I mean, the only thing that not really not really that much, except for the fact that you know you become more aware of 
everything around you, right? You become more aware of like your family, like how they live. Because, you know, even though I live with my family right now, I don't live on my own. Um, you, it became like seeing them for a couple hours and then going to sleep and then seeing them the next day to being with them 24 seven. And then, you know, I feel like even though they're my family, I learned more about them. I learned more about um, myself as a person as well. Like how I interact with um, my family, how I interact with uh, my friends, like outside of just seeing them every day. And it, it sort of like showed me um, how much I didn't appreciate all of those things up until the pandemic. And yeah, that, that's like really how I felt about it. What about Wan Jun? Wan Jun, you want, you want, would you like to speak on that? Yeah, sure. Um, pandemic life for me, you know, even though things get really bad, I actually got coronavirus and struggled with my family because they all had it too. Right, um, right. Just very thankful for a lot of different things. Like I learned that health is wealth, like taking care of yourself, you know, taking care of your family, your close people. It's very, very important. You know, I'm just grateful for the things that you have, you know. Like, even though I lost my job and things like that, you know, I still had a roof over my head. I had a bed. I had my computer, my friends, you know, just really grateful for all those like, small things to help you really get through troubling times like this, you know, and like things are slowly getting better. So, you know, just living like that, I feel like being grateful for people and things like just really changes your perspective on what's really important and what's not. Yeah. Yeah, that, no, that's great. That's great. Um, so we we've been on for quite a, quite a while now, and both me me and John have finished our food. So um, I think I just want to go through like one or two more comments here, just like sort of wrap up the stream. But we have Sam's goals here saying, "I got to sleep, guys." Amazing stream as per usual. Thank you again for tuning in all the way from the UK or wherever you are. Thank you for tuning in. You know, we always appreciate it. Um, we have a couple in here. Eric C says, including you two, BLB, I, I don't know you, but you're a legend for being friends with John and Jimmy. And I think he's talking about one Jin, but he is, he is, he is. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, Eric. <laughs> yeah, Kay Sater also said, well said, one Jin, really like that. And of course, you know, everyone has been struggling and, you know, it's just great that, you know, the people around us are, you know, if, even though going through tough times, you can right. sort of help them through it. Um, I think it's, I think it's nice to sort of like end on, end on this, but thank you again, Eric, every time. Eric, you know, thank you for the super uh, chat. I'm so grateful. It's I can't even <laughs> speak. You know, you, you don't even have to do this, Eric. You can just come yeah. on and just chat yeah. with us. You don't have yeah. to drop <laughs> chats. Exactly. We're always appreciative, but you know, please yeah. don't. You know, we're we're exactly. so thankful anyway. Yeah. Eric C says, here's to hopefully meeting you guys one day at a United game in the States or going out and getting some food and talking about football life. And yes, we were talking about that earlier on the stream, but it would be great to be able to, you know, go meet you guys in person, maybe play, you know, a round of five V five or you know, whatever it is, you know, go get a go get a drink or like go get food. But hopefully, once this whole thing blows over, we can sort of set stuff up. That would be fantastic, yeah. Yeah, but again, thank you guys. We've been on here for about an hour, about two hours now, close to two hours. But wow. thank you for everyone that's been on the stream for with us this long. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys. Hope you guys have a good rest of Saturday and a good rest of the weekend. How about yeah, how about nice. we get a goodbye from one June first? Say goodbye, please. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> How about you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What about you next, John? Uh, uh, well, look, hopefully we can continue to do these random streams once in a while. It's fun. Make sure you guys keep the notification bell because th th that's when you'll really know when we when we hop on these. Exactly, uh, exactly. Uh, if you guys have time, make sure you guys check out some of the other videos that we've uh, made for the Bench Warmer series. Uh, those are a little bit more related to news, so some of yeah. them might be dated. But make sure you guys check out uh, – our content every Tuesdays and Thursdays, we come out with bench warmer shows. We got live streams and coming up. Uh, mm -hmm. We also have a uh, a gaming stream, right? Kill Pose game stream. Uh, I have yes. it on here. Um, yeah. This this video is being fed as part of today's Kill Pose gaming stream. Yeah. So you can go check that out. Uh, and yeah, thank you guys so much for the support as always. Yes, Joseph, thank you guys. H Huss, Eric C. On, uh, everyone today. Yeah, crazy. everyone. Thank yeah. you guys again. Thank it means so much to us. For the, from the bottom of our hearts, Vish, thank you for tuning in, Vish. You're awesome. The amount of support that you've been – for five years, he's been following me. I mean, exactly. I've only been doing my own personal stuff for like two, three years. I mean, he's been following me since the full-time Devils, Mr. Flying Pig Day. So I, I really appreciate it. All of you guys in the chat room, you guys are all amazing. We'll be back with another episode. I don't know well, if it'll be a pop -up, but maybe we'll do another one like this. In yeah. The future, but yeah, We'll do it. something. Uh, something a little different. All right, right. Maybe, maybe – <laughs> Maybe another one in the next one when we're out there upstate, guys. Oh, yeah. You know, that's something to look forward to, maybe. <laughs> well, that's right. Thank guys. you, guys. Oh.
Thank you guys. Peace out.